so hi there viewers um, well today uh, I have uh, a new species uh, which I'm about to show uh, this time it's actually a butterfly and not a moth and it's actually a special butterfly too I'll show the larva this is my setup uh, a wine bottle filled with water and I just include some twigs and uh, so well, here are some of the larva they are camouflaged like bird poop. Let me see if I can get a good shot of this one. This one. Yeah. And it's actually a butterfly from Asia called Papilio de Hani. Uh, these Papilio de Hani, um, they are iridescent. They have beautiful blue and green colors. But there's something uh, special about these. These are actually Papilio de Hani that have been bred in captivity for years by a person I know. And um, well, if you're if you're uh, listening to this tussles, you're doing great work. So this person called it the uh, tussles has been breeding these Papilio for 15 generations, which actually changed their appearance and habits. So. I wouldn't call them domestic, but well, they're they're getting close, and he's just done some amazing work on these butterflies. And he and I just uh, bought some larvae from him. While well, he has been breeding them in his apartment in London for years, so and uh, I'm enjoying uh, raising them so far. They're wonderful little larvae. It's very uh, odd little colors and camouflage like bird poop and I hope to be able to raise them to adults. Uh, the thing with these butterflies is they don't like uh, being in plastic boxes, they all die. So you have to give them this kind of ventilation and space for them to develop. Here two, two more. So this is a special bloodline. And I believe this person Tussles has uh, selected uh, a few traits in them, especially the blue traits, which makes them more colorful, more colorful than wild butterflies. They have more pronounced colors and different size. And well, they're just um, they're going to be very beautiful if this works.